All right, guys, and welcome to the next part of your One Point Perspective week. All right, last class we did this. All right, you should have finished your framework and submitted it. Um, you also went ahead and wrote your definitions that we talked about, you know, horizon line, vanishing point. You know, everything was dealing with One Point Perspective. Okay, so we always have to remember that, you know, we're dealing with different types of um, techniques, all right, and this week's technique is just One Point Perspective, okay? Now, because we use that one point, and you can see here as well, most of our technical stuff should have already been done. Now, to do today's step, you must have finished uh, last class's um, video uh, demonstration and done your drawing accordingly. All right, you can always go back and view that. That's still there for you to view. And hopefully, you know, that, that is something that you guys can and get complete um, since we spent the time to really give you all the uh, information you need. All right, so no excuses there. Watch that video and get it done. All right, now, once you have this set up and, you, and you've submitted that last assignment, you're gonna be adding detail and creativity. You know, we wanna see creative creativity uh, since you're in an art class. So you're gonna be taking this scene and turning it into your own sort of creative landscape. Here's a student example I briefly showed you last class. So what they did was they did just what you did. You know, they drew the same exact scene that we drew last class but they decided on a theme. And that's what you're gonna to do today. You're gonna to think, okay, well, what type of theme do I want to use in my drawing as I add color today, okay? Now this student, again, they chose to do a theme. They choose to do like a winter holiday Christmas theme. You can see they added a wreath, colored the building, added Christmas lights, they added this, you know, large man with reindeer. I wonder what his name is. They added some different things over here. Snowman, you know, this is a decent little uh, assignment, little project here that they received full credit on. Now, I don't mind if you do something that's kind of holiday related like this, or if you choose to do something that's totally different. You know, I've seen people do things that it's like, you know, a scene from a different country and they're putting flags in there and all sorts of other things. I've seen people turn this into more of a city scene. You know, I've seen people take this a bunch of different directions, but what your goal is, is to make this unique. So when you're starting from this, you need to go ahead and think, well, what's my theme gonna be today? Because that's what you're graded on, it's a little bit of creativity. Now you have colored pencils, so you're gonna be using your colored pencils today, all right? What I want you to do first is to clean up your image. So if you have little areas that you don't want, like your receding line showing, you can erase those. You know, you can clean up certain areas, make it look a little bit nicer so that you have a pretty cr clean drawing to work from. If you have notes written down, you can just color right over them if you want to. Now, first things first, if you wanna make any additions, do it in pencil. So like, let's say I wanted to add like, you know, some mountains in the background. You know, I could add some mountains way in the distance if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted to do that. Here's my mountains, they're kind of hiding behind things. Okay, so I got my mountains, all right, cool. There we go, you don't have to do mountains, but let's say you wanted to, there's an example of that, all right? If you wanted to go ahead and you know, draw anything in the sky, whether that's birds or an airplane, you know, they did Santa, that's up to you, clouds, maybe, you know, try to be somewhat realistic. You can look up images on Google if you want to. After you get that done, I want you using your colored pencils. Now, when you're doing this, I'm just gonna show you briefly how to do like a tree, for instance. Think about your light source. You know, one side of things should be a little bit lighter than the other. So let's say I wanted my light source coming in this way. I could go ahead and just slightly color a little bit darker on one side. Then as I come across, you know, I could get a little bit lighter to make things look 3D. That's a cool little trick. You know, here in art class, we really wanna teach you guys, you know, different tricks and tips on how to make things look a little bit better in your artwork. You know, make it a little bit more advanced. Now, another way you could do that is by blending. Let's say you wanted your shadow on this side, you could take a darker pencil and you could pop out that shadow a little bit and enhance your fade. And that's pencils, you know, color pencil blending, you know, layering them on top of each other, making it look a little bit more detailed, a little bit more creative than just coloring it in like it's a coloring book. If you wanted to add a texture, you know, you could come in with a different color or, or you know, a slightly darker color and you could add in, you know, like let's say I wanted to do the texture of the trees. You know, I could add that in. You know, these are pine trees, yours might be different, that's okay. I'm just showing you some different things you can do. All right, so you can see how I'm adding in. 
a little bit of shading now. I want you guys, since your whole class time today is just for creative drawing and coloring on this scene, I want you to really think about, well, how am I applying things to make it look kind of um, a little bit more uh, complex, a little bit more technical, a little bit more advanced, okay? You know, if you wanted to add any sort of, you know, um, fading or blending on your road, you could do that. It doesn't even have to necessarily be totally realistic. Like, let's say I wanted a purple road, you know? You don't see those every day. But the main thing I want from you guys is to practice your fading and blending and a little bit of shading here. You know, we're going to learn more shading later on this year. Let's say I wanted to fade it from dark to light as it gets closer to me. Cool. I can take my colored pencil in the areas that it's a little bit lighter. I'm just using the dust of the pencil. And I can go back and I can relayer. Let's say I want it darker back here. I could do that. You know, if I wanted to, let's say, enhance the intensity of my color, you know, we learned about that last week, I could do some blending here. So let's say I'm like, you know what? I really want this to be a nice blue road up here. You know, I could fade in my brighter colors towards the front. You know, explore some creativity, have fun with this. And then as it fades back, it turns into a little bit more of a muted purple. Think about your theme. I don't know what theme I have now. Maybe it's like a crazy psychedelic landscape. I don't know. Maybe I want to add like some hippies on the side of the road. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I would do here. But I want you guys to really think about being creative, having fun with this, and adding your color. Okay? <coughs> By the end of this, you should have a scene that looks nice creative, complete, and submit it today, okay? So good luck, come up with your theme, add your color, and enjoy your drawing. Bye, guys.